This is a 2020 Tesla Model X, and this is the most conflicted I've ever been about a car. Today, I borrowed this car from the Jetsons family to try and work out my feelings about it. After that, I will show you some of my favorite features, take it for a drive and give you some driving impressions, and then at the end, I will point out some of the things that you should look for if you're planning on buying one. The Tesla Model X, an all-electric SUV that redefines the boundaries of luxury and performance, stands as a testament to Tesla's innovation and commitment to sustainable transportation. From its ground-breaking Falcon wing doors to its exceptional range and cutting-edge features, the Model X embodies the future of automotive excellence. Join me as I drive into the details and uncover why the Tesla Model X continues to captivate drivers with its unique blend of technology, versatility, and exhilarating performance. The Tesla Model X offers an impressive combination of power and efficiency. With available dual motors and all-wheel drive, the Model X accelerates from 0 to 60 in just seconds, and it is a thrilling and instantaneous burst of speed. The available ludicrous mode offers even an enhancement to that performance, pushing the boundaries of what an SUV can actually do. Additionally, the Model X boasts an impressive range with the long range variant offering over 300 miles of driving in a single charge. This remarkable range coupled with Tesla's extensive supercharger network ensures that you can have convenient charging along your journey. Step inside the Tesla Model X completely hands-free where you are welcomed by a very futuristic and minimalistic interior. The interior features premium materials, very sleek lines, and an uncluttered design that gives you both a sense of elegance and welcoming. The Tesla Model X offers seating for up to seven passengers with an available six-person configuration with a center console. One of the standout features for sure is the panoramic windshield, which extends all the way to the back here, giving you a sense of openness. This, being a Tesla, as suspected, is packed with advanced technological features. And the centerpiece is this right here, your center console motherboard that controls pretty much all the features in this car, including this. One of the most distinctive and practical features of the Model X is the Falcon wing doors. As you can see, these upward opening doors make it very dramatic and convenient to access even in tight parking areas. And don't fear about hitting anything. These doors incorporate sensors within the doors, cameras in the surrounding to make sure it detects objects around it. The Tesla Model X represents a paradigm shift in the automotive industry, combining exceptional performance, zero emission electric driving, and unparalleled luxury. From its striking design, to the innovative Falcon wing doors, to the remarkable uh, range cutting edge technology, the Model X redefines what an SUV can be. And now, let's look into my favorite features, starting right here with, yes, you guessed it, the Falcon Wing Doors. To operate the Gull Wing Doors, it's very simple. Now, keep in mind, the way that this works is through a combination of sensors inside the door skins, the cameras surrounding it, and there's multiple ways that you can control this, just as there is multiple ways to control anything in this car. You can do it through your phone app, or you can do it through the remote. If you have your remote with you, you can just come in here and press this handle right here, and that will activate the going doors now if there's an obstacle in front of the doors it does know uh, to gauge if how wide it needs to open 
once the doors are open, you just come inside and there is a button right in here that allows you to open and close the doors. As you can see, it gives you plenty of space to be able to stand up, get in, get out without a problem and never be afraid to hit anything unless the sensor is damaged, the door will operate without an issue. To close it from out here, you can also use your remote or there's a button right here, you just press that and your going doors automatically close. The next feature I want to show you is the doors. They are electronically controlled and operated so I can simply walk up to the car with my key in the pocket and configure the doors to automatically open and close. So as I step inside the car, I also have multiple ways to be able to close the door. I can do it from the main console here or I can simply press on the brake and get going with my day. And coming into the interior, and again, what a beautiful minimalistic design. Here we have the center console where you control everything. And I mean, there's so much configuration. This in itself, it's a great feature and I, I just love it. Uh, the interaction with it, it's literally like working with an iPhone. It is the best navigation system, entertainment system uh, out there. And so you have many, many things that you can control from here, including your charging, um, your navigation, how you display things, your configuration for your seats. All of the configurations for the driver can be saved and reused at any point. As you can see here, I can control the doors. I can open and close any one of the doors, the front or the trunk. You also have autopilot and you can change the configurations in here. Uh, trips, display, charging, how to close or tilt your mirrors, the falcon doors, how high do you want them to go, lights, you can configure your parking lights, your auto beam, all these things are configurable. The display itself, it's like having an, an iPad at home where you can configure everything in here. Trips, you can keep track of all these different things, navigation, safety, your s service, and software upgrades. These are, you know, over the air, uh, updates are sent to the to Tesla from Tesla to your vehicle your phone you can connect your phone and display all the different things right now my phone is not connected so it's not showing any of that you have you know your streaming services which you can link up here as well you can monitor the outdoor of your car and actually record when your car is parked and somebody approaches your car it'll record that activity and show it to you later you can go in here and look at all the different applications that you have in here, including karaoke, games, etc. Here you have your entertainment where you can watch many, many streaming services. And of course, the best. Gotta love that. And now for my favorite part, let's go for a drive. Driving the Tesla Model X, and I mean, amazing, amazing vehicle. I can never get tired of driving these Teslas. Every time I take one for a ride, it, it is the same sensation, the same impression, and I'm just amazed at the driving dynamics uh, of a Tesla. Um, it, it is, it is very comfortable, very adjustable. You can adjust all kinds of things, especially in this one with the uh, air suspension. It, it is just a, a very nice place to be, and minimalistic uh, design all the technology autopilot uh, of course helps you just enjoy the vehicle even more now i wanted to further discuss or explore that comment that i made at the very beginning about my th this conflict that i have uh with with the with the tesla and and generally electric vehicles as a whole and to me tesla specifically it breaks down really into two main pillars and maybe I can branch off of one of them and 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 break that down a little bit more but you know first of all it is you know I'm a technology guy right I'm in tech uh, that's my job I love technology I love all this innovation all these different features that that Tesla has been able to implement in the Model X and their whole lineup really however I'm also a car guy and for me the driving experience is 
sensual. You have to have feed all of your senses, right? And for me, the noise for electric vehicles isn't there. I'm always impressed with the torque, uh, the immediacy of driving, especially a Tesla electric vehicle. It's great, right? You can very, very immediately feel the power and the torque. So that's, that's an incredible fe uh, feature. However, the lack of noise for me just kills the experience. And that's just something that I can't get over. I just cannot. So maybe as a daily vehicle, you know, I'll, I'll probably be okay with, um, but as my only vehicle, I don't know. I'm not sure about that. Now, and the second pillar to this, particularly with Tesla, is Daddy Elon for me. I feel like Elon or whomever is making these decisions uh, at Tesla, but basically, one of the pet peeves that I have is the control, the grab that Tesla has on the supply chain for these vehicles. The entire supply chain, down from the internet that is providing the connectivity to the vehicle, down to the parts, down to the maintenance, repairs, everything. Everything is being controlled by Tesla. If you want to get this car repaired, good luck. You will most likely need to take it to a Tesla service center because it is very, very restricted. There's very few shops out there that are actually willing to work on these cars uh, or that can work or that can even get parts for it. I can attest to this. This is my buddy's uh, Tesla and uh, you know, he had a, a small accident at one point where, you know, he had a fender bender and I tried to help him with that and it was impossible to get parts. Eventually what I had to do was actually find used parts and you reuse those used parts uh, on this brand new, at the time, Tesla. Otherwise, he would have to go to the Tesla uh, dealership and spend a fortune on a very simple, very small repair. The other part of it is that a lot of people don't realize is that Tesla is a, te is, a, is a data company. Their goal is to collect as much data as possible, uh, not only to enhance their autopilot and you know technological innovations uh, like the Summon and the Auto Park and all these different things, but they also use all this data to understand their clients, to understand behavior and different things. So they're tracking where you're going and what are you doing, what time of the day. For me, that's a big, big turnoff and lastly is build quality right this is a new innovative product made in America uh, makes me very happy to know that's the case these cars are built here and once again an American automaker is bringing innovation like we've never seen before that hasn't been the case in a very very long time uh, so I'm very pleased with that but along with that comes poor build quality, right? Uh, everything about Tesla is brand new. The manufacturing capacity, capabilities, the, the engineering, and everything behind it is brand new. So they have to you know, develop their, their, their manufacturing, right? So initially, you're gonna have a lot of you know, defects and imperfections and things like that. And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm OCD, so I wanna make sure that when I see a car and I buy a car, that is absolutely perfect. And so, that's a big turn off for me as well. And so, you know, personally, I'm giving myself a little bit more time before I even get into, you know, a Tesla. But besides that, as, as we come to a stop here, and it's incredible how the Tesla technology, uh, it's basically AI. You have a computer in here that's, that has artificial intelligence really looking at everything. It detects the traffic signs and understands what's around it, how many vehicles are around it. So it, it, is, it is just going to keep getting better. And I do like that part about the tech behind it because it, simplifies everything and it gives you more flexibility adaptability configurations you can you can you can adjust everything in this car so from that standpoint man is this a cool cool car now let's do a little quick punch here and see uh, how it moves oh man <laughs> you can <laughs> you can never get tired of that <laughs> 
now you're really pumped and excited to buy one of these. So allow me to highlight some of the things that you should look for if you're planning to buy one. I made a checklist to show you what to look for when buying any car. Start with that as your basis. The link to that is included below. But now, allow me to show you things to look for for this car in specific. Now, keep in mind that it's never a bad idea to bring along a car savvy friend to help you look for things. And also, I always recommend that you get a PPI, a pre-purchase inspection done by an experienced Tesla shop in this case, or the Tesla dealership. It will be the best 200 bucks you spend on the car. Right, so let's jump right into it. The first issue that I want to highlight is the MCU, the Media Control Unit. Now this has undergone a recall, ensuring that potential issues are covered by Tesla. And the fix involves replacing the board with a higher capacity and improved quality board, while owners also have the option to upgrade to the more robust MCU2 system for approximately $2,000. The other issue I want to highlight is yellow banding on the edge of the MCU right in here. In addition to the MCU memory issue, another frequently encountered problem is the occurrence of a yellow band that goes around the screen's edge caused by adhesive failure. And so this typically requires the screen to be replaced. Although functionality remains largely unaffected, Tesla initially replaced the screens, but due to reoccurring faults, they now employ a UV light technique that effectively restores uh, the, the whole screen. The next item that I want to highlight, it's also to do with the interior, and it is the heating element in here. Many Model X owners have experienced a notable issue with the heating element inside the car. This is uh, characterized by a loud pop in the cabin and subsequently the loss of heating. Uh, particularly prevalent in the fall time frame when the demand for heating starts to increase. Now, Tesla does not acknowledge it as a design defect, so they impose charges on people and th these could cost right around a thousand dollars to repair. The next item that I want to highlight is the suspension. Some issues have been identified. So Tesla vehicles boast a substantial weight and robust suspension capable of withstanding significant impacts. Although occasionally failures can arise during full lock reversing encounters with moderate potholes or even intermittent or intense braking. While these issues are relatively infrequent, it is recommended to conduct suspension inspections uh, and be proactive about your maintenance. Next, keeping with the exterior, is water in the lights. Condensation leading to failure is known uh, with these uh, LEDs, particularly when drainage becomes obstructed, causing moisture accumulation. While mild condensation is normal due to environmental conditions, visible water beyond the quarter of the height indicates uh, a significant problem. Make sure that you inspect all of your lights for severe condensation. These are not that cheap. Next, I want to bring to your attention to this area hidden right underneath the steering rack. The steering system contains a universal joint that may become rigid, resulting in an unusual and stiff steering feel, along with reduced self-centering characteristics. For vehicles beyond the warranty period, make sure that you do regular maintenance, and it is also recommended to have the universal joint cleaned and lubricated by a professional mechanic. Make sure that you Test drive the vehicle and ensure that the operation of the steering rack feels adequate and there is no stiffness to it or any sticking points along the way. And while we're here, let's talk about the judder under hard acceleration. The front uh, drive shafts have been a source of concern for a lot of people. Uh, Tesla introduced a new shim design. However, despite the, their efforts, the, some customers continue to have issues and it has become synonymous with the Model X. 
uh, uh, particularly with the performance models. What happens is that high speed uh, vi vibrations may occur and what this indicates is a problem with either your shafts or you can also have an, uh, an issue with your air dam that allows air to go into the radiator that cools the batteries. So make sure that you understand if you have an issue with your air, uh, air dam system or the actual drive shafts on the car itself. Next, let's talk about the going doors. Now, uh, the Model X incorporates an ingenious proximity sensor within the skins of the rear doors. These uh, are designed to uh, detect obstacles. Now, occasionally they fail, leading to a diverse range of problems. Uh, typically, you know, not being able to detect obstacles uh, around the doors. The way that it should work and the way that you should te test this is if you try to open the door while being close to it and the door hits you then you know it's not detecting the gap between the door. Now while we're here there's two more things that I want to talk to you about. One is the failing uh, door actuators. These components are responsible for the automatic door opening and closing. Uh, when the handle is activated and repairing these typically cost uh, right around $200. So keep that in mind. And then while we're here, I want to talk about the rear door seals, which prevent water from coming in, right? This sometimes uh, poses a problem because it accumulates water around this area towards the center of the vehicle. Unfortunately, there's been uh, many instances uh, of production issues where the seals were installed incorrectly, resulting in water being directed into the cabin instead of around and down the edge. This can lead into deterioration inside the cabin. So make sure you check these things out as well. That's it folks. I hope this video was helpful and informative. If it was, please give me a like, subscribe to the channel. It really uh, helps me with the analytics of the channel. So until next time, 